facial spasm is character. So as you can see, and it is mostly affecting the orbicularis oculi that is the uh, muscles around the eye which have an involuntary forced repetitive closure of the eyelids and the patient does not have control and finds it difficult to open them when he suffers an attack of uh, these spasms. As a final uh, concentration of 2.5 international units of the toxin in each 0.1 ml of the uh, reconstituted solution. So the normal saline is taken into a 2 ml syringe and this, this 2 ml of diluent is then placed into the vial containing the freeze dried preparation of the botulinum toxin and the vacuum inside the vial automatically draws the fluid inside. Normally most of the powder would dissolve in the uh, diluent on its own. Vigorous shaking is to be avoided as we do not want to agitate the solution and form too many bubbles. A small degree of The dose per site is also quite variable, but the normal recommended dose is uh, anywhere between 2 to 5 international. <laughs> side we normally start with a dose of 2.5 international units at each side uh, this is also very convenient because with the reconstitution that we had where the 50 unit uh, vial is reconstituted with 2 ml of saline the final concentration is 2.5 international units Uh, per 0.1 ml therefore at each site we need to inject point now this is the botogeni uh, that is available and this comes in the standard packing with a uh, dried preparation of the botulinum toxin in one vial and the uh, normal saline for reconstitution in the other vial now for the, the diluent is first taken into a syringe uh, different uh, surgeons and ophthalmologists or neurologists have different preferences for the amount of 